Uh, yes, sir. Uh, to take part in the discussion, general discussion on the, on the budget, <coughs> I have few points to, to be discussed uh, regarding uh, the, the whatever the budget has been presented by the Chief Minister. I'd like to thank you, the Chief Minister, first for whatever the budget has been presented. But I have some issues to discuss in, in, in this budget session, which is not included in the budget. <coughs> first, I, I just want to highlight a few points regarding uh, education department, physical infrastructure department, de 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 different department, and moreover, uh, public health engineering, engineering and tourism sector. And I will highlight special focus on the road and communication as well. <coughs> First, I would like to uh, discuss about uh, physical infrastructure for newly created civil subdivision in different uh, area, di di different parts of Meghalaya, especially uh, since uh, this uh, newly subdivision has been created uh, way back in 2017, I still remember that lots of infrastructure is required to do some work. That means for the, this is very important issues, like uh, department of the, uh, different kind of. Uh, till that no infrastructure, no physical infrastructure, no no building has been constructed. So the lots of officers are facing lots of problem. Uh, I just want to highlight for newly building created Tana as well for Sankani in my area and uh, also. There is no building, there is no infrastructure to carry on the work. So there's, there's facing lots of problems. And uh, many police officers also complain that it, if, at least if the building can be constructed as soon as possible, then the problem can be solved as, as at an earliest matter. Uh, moreover, I have so many issues regarding the, the, the infrastructure, like, uh, like we don't have bungalow inspection, PW bungalow right now. We have, but uh, it is a elevated, elevated conditions. The conditions of the building is deteriorated. There's only one PW inspection bungalow in, uh, in my support area. But if the government is considered for the new construction of inspection bungalow, PW bungalow, I would like to touch upon the deputy chief minister and request the deputy chief minister to kindly look into the matter as well. And moreover, we require, uh, especially since the support area is a big area, Whenever the officers go, whenever the uh, minister visit our place, there is no flash to the site. So uh, if the government can consider for new circuit house building for the support, it will be thankful for the government as well. This is not included in the budget, so I would like to request the government of the day to consider my factor as well. And moreover, I have uh, so many, uh, let me come to the education departments. Uh, when considered about education department, this is the most important topics in our discussions, even in the zero hour, even in our discussion as well. So most of the conditions of the primary and upper primary buildings is dilapidated. And during the rainy seasons, they, get, they have to stop the work, they have to stop the schools because of the conditions of the roof. And everybody knows. So I would like to urge upon the education minister in charge as well to see the condition and to take not of these situations. And moreover, I have one, one of the oldest adult school is there in Chopot area. Though we have, a, though we have been awarded as a civil subdivision, but we don't have government higher, higher secondary school. This is one of the oldest higher secondary, adult higher secondary school in the Chopot. But if the, if the school can be upgraded to pattern deficit, but deficit or provincialized, it will be very big initiative and big benefited by the people of Chopot as well. Since the government is prioritizing, since the top priority of the government is the education sector, then uh, therefore I would like to request to see the conditions of our school as well. And recently, uh, five years back, we have got a community college. Now we call it degree college support, degree college. Uh, whatever we have discussed already also, there is no building for that uh, degree college. But it's, it's school is functioning for three, three years back, still now. And uh, lots of results has been, uh, we have seen the results as well. But if the building can be constructed as early as possible, that problem can be solved. And the people will get benefited from it as well. Now let me come to the public health engineering. Uh, we have uh, two, one CH3 and one PHE. And uh, we, are, we need to that switch conditions of the CHE are also very bad. The building con construction, that, that means uh, the CHE, if the CHE can be converted into 100 bedded or civil hospital, upgraded, 
then it will be more people will get more benefits from it because it, my area is a big one of the biggest area in my area that that means in South Korea has. and also we have one PHC in Silky if the PHC can be upgraded to CHC it will be uh, more profitable and the health sector will be more good more people will get more benefit from it as well and the conditions of that both CHC and PHC of the building is very bad definitely that and you will come uh, most of the time when I visited uh, lots of doctors also complained that if we can take up the matter with the government to see the conditions of the building that it will be great help for the people we don't have extra mission also if the extra mission can be installed in us uh, in our present switch in support it will be it will people get benefited from it as well uh, let me come to the uh, road sector road in communications Support is known as one of the critical road in entire Meghalaya. I have discussed with some with some chief engineers as well. This road is, needs to be required special attention because this is the only alternative road that connecting from uh, Bakmara to Chokpot, Bakmara to Tura. Then, if something happens in the uh, Dalu, Dalu uh, Tura to Dalu road, it's stopped automatically. You have to go via Chokpot only. And if the roads can be constructed in a special accelerated road, it will be a district road only. Because it is the alternative road which connects from Tura to Bakmara through Baya Chokpot. And we have also the old road, Gasupara Mantap Road is also still pending. And we have some other uh, uh, project has been sanctioned already. Uh, 19 kilometers has been sanctioned for 19 crores, 20 crore. And I remember that the work is so slow because I, when I uh, inquire about what is the reason behind because of the delay of famine it has been delayed so I urge upon the deputy chief minister to see into the matter as well and we have another road project from uh, support to Jato Daringa that road has also been sanctioned five years back but still the work is under progress under uh, under conditions which is not in a position to complete in time and moreover, we have some roads which has been sanctioned by the other department. <laughs> but that road also delayed. When I inquire about it also, because of the delay of famine, the road, the whole construction of work is very slow. So I urge upon the government of the day, the deputy, uh, deputy speaker, sir, deputy chief minister, to see the conditions and to, so that the payment can be made earlier, so that the work can be done as early as possible to make our roads progress. And I thank the Chief Minister also for sanctioning some roads for the critical roads for support as well. Uh, moreover, I, I just want to ask uh, some important key points regarding our road and communications. Because this is the only road which connects uh, 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 from Tura to Bakmara. If the road can be included in a national highway, it will be big for us, good, good result for us as well. So I also want the government to see the conditions as well. Uh, Finally, I just want to highlight the tourism sector. In my area, one of the most tourism destination is, is in my area. If you see the Wadi Chora, it is very known for the, all the people of Meghalaya and Razarongat. Uh, 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 yeah, I'll I'll take me one, give me one minute. Two, two minutes. One minute. Yeah, yeah, okay. I'll just uh, winding up my speech. Uh, if you see the tourism sector, Durabandar, uh, Dare, lots of important and important places are there to look in and people are coming from every aspect of uh, area that if the tourism can be the tourism sector can be uh, can be look into the matter that means if the uh, can be if the funds can be sanctioned for that it will be big results and revenue generation as well for the state of Meghalaya as well as for in general uh, now let me come to the uh, one point we, we have a uh, very difficult problem while well, during the dealing with the rainy seasons. That means the uh, power sector. If the station substation can be installed, if the substation can be created in a in a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in, my, in my area, because uh, during the rainy season, lots of problem we face, and not only in my area, whole of Meghalaya facing the same crisis of power. So, if the substation can be created in my area, especially in Chapot area, uh, I will be thankful to the government of the day. So I urge upon the government to see this matter as well. The, this is the few words uh, by, by, this is my uh, sample submission. I resume my seat. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you.